Women, can't live with them, can't live without them. Prevention is better than cure. In the kingdom of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. The main hope of a nation lies in the proper education of its youth. There are some people who live in a dream world, and there are some who face reality, and then there are those who turn one into the other. He who allows oppression shares the crime. The nearer people approach old age the closer they return to a semblance of childhood, until the time comes for them to depart this life, again like children, neither tired of living or aware of death. The more ignorant, reckless and thoughtless a doctor is, the higher his reputation soars even amongst powerful princes. Great abundance of riches cannot be gathered and kept by any man without sin. Whether a party can have much success without a woman present I must ask others to decide, but one thing is certain, no party is any fun unless seasoned with folly. By a carpenter mankind was made, and only by that carpenter can mankind be remade. Reflection is a flower of the mind, giving out wholesome fragrance but revelry is the same flower, when rank and running to seed. Nowadays the rage for possession has got to such a pitch that there is nothing in the realm of nature, whether sacred or profane, out of which profit cannot be squeezed. It is an unscrupulous intellect that does not pay to antiquity its due reverence. Man's mind is so formed that it is far more susceptible to falsehood than to truth. Nothing is as peevish and pedantic as men's judgments of one another. No one respects a talent that is concealed. What is popularly called fame is nothing but an empty name and a legacy from paganism. The summit of happiness is reached when a person is ready to be what he is. The chief element of happiness is this, to want to be what you are. A nail is driven out by another nail, habit is overcome by habit. Give light, and the darkness will disappear of itself. If you keep thinking about what you want to do or what you hope will happen, you don't do it, and it won't happen. Before you sleep, read something that is exquisite, and worth remembering. For anyone who loves intensely lives not in himself, but in the object of his love, and the further he can move out of himself into his love, the happier he is. I doubt if a single individual could be found from the whole of mankind free from some form of insanity. The only difference is one of degree. War is sweet to those who have not experienced it. It is wiser to treat men and things as though we held this world the common fatherland of all. The highest form of bliss is living with a certain degree of folly.
Young bodies are like tender plants, which grow and become hardened to whatever shape you've trained them. When I have a little money, I buy books, and if I have any left, I buy food and clothes. Nature, more of a stepmother than a mother in several ways, has sown a seed of evil in the hearts of mortals, especially in the more thoughtful men, which makes them dissatisfied with their own lot and envious of another's. Fools are without number. Concealed talent brings no reputation. It's the generally accepted privilege of theologians to stretch the heavens, that is the scriptures, like tanners with a hide. Man is to man either a god or a wolf. Great eagerness in the pursuit of wealth, pleasure, or honor, cannot exist without sin. Time takes away the grief of men. Don't give your advice before you are called upon. The entire world is my temple and a very fine one too, if I'm not mistaken, and I'll never lack priests to serve it as long as there are men. Your library is your paradise. Luther was guilty of two great crimes, he struck the Pope in his crown, and the monks in their belly. The desire to write grows with writing. War is delightful to those who have had no experience of it. The most disadvantageous peace is better than the most just war. Everybody hates a prodigy, detests an old head on young shoulders. And so when the whole man will be outside himself, and happy for no reason except that he is so outside himself, he will enjoy some of the ineffable share in the supreme good which draws everything into itself. When a husband tells his wife that she is and she will be the only one, that means he does not need another such stress. It is wisdom and prosperity, when all is as thou wouldn't have it, to fear and suspect the worst.